Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. But then we have other places where we can put it from zero to four. I've always seen education, I've always seen schools themselves serving two functioning, two functions. One, to educate, and two, just to house kids until they're 18 and they can get a job. Keep them safe. No. You don't want kids housed because they don't have the skills to get jobs now. In fact, that's one of the problems we face. I will agree with that completely, 100%. I'm on board with that, too. So, we have to do something to get them educated at least to the level where they can function in, in an industrial society. They can read and show, do plans, or they can read directions, or uh, etc. So it's very difficult today to find unemployment, to find employment if you don't have a certain level of intellectual knowledge. Right. If you can't read to a certain level, it's very difficult to find employment. Right. But even if you can read to a high school level, and that's all. Then there's hope for you. Yes. That's how we have Workforce One now. Mm -hmm. Right. This little county here has $31 million to help people f get the skills to work. Mm. Which is another thing I'm a big proponent of. And the Swiss, and I'm a big proponent of the Swiss and German system of having, I know this sounds, but I'm of the Swiss and German system of teaching at, a, at an age of 15 or 16 at that point, students leaving school in a sense and going to work within industry and gaining the skills we in have industry. That. Yes. We have it through Workforce One. But it's not, it's still, if I, if. But it's the exception, if, not like yeah, everybody does. If, it. if I was sitting here with my son, and you would and you would say to me, "What is your son doing next year?" And I would say, uh, "Oh, my son is uh, in Workforce One." Most people who are sitting there would be like, oh, "He's one of those children." Where I would say, "He's going to Florida State next year." It'd be a whole different kind of. It would have a whole different outlook. The way you would be looking at me, the way most people would be looking at me as a parent and as a, as him as a no. Child. I would I would look at you and say to myself, "This kid is not." functioning to a level that's able to go to Florida State. Right. Because if you could go to Florida State and you were doing, you were sending him to Workforce One, I would tell you, don't do that. <laughs> but, <laughs> right. but if you were in I, Switzerland, the, yeah. the, the, this would that's be... That's a vocational... That's so, what I'm saying, yeah. Even England has that. Right. And England has a track. What we've heard is that even... When it's a voc even if you're headed to the university, you still are picking up a skill in some way. Because we have a problem here, because we demand much more. But in, in the European models, they actually have a commitment which says all children will graduate with a saleable skill. We don't. We have an exercise to the extent that we should. Right. But remember, in the junior high schools, when I went to junior high schools, I took two shops. Yeah. The shop, right? Yeah, yeah. We had that. At least yeah. you'd be able to make something in wood, right? <laughs> no, well, I think at the time you were, I think probably you were probably, I don't know, I'm not too sure the time you went to, um, probably in the in the 19 early 1950s, before World War Two, before World War Two, you had a very probably you probably had a very good shop program within schools. Of course, we had printing. Yes. As it, then we had we had high schools in New York City. New York School of Industrial Trades, New York School of Printing, Fashion Institute of Technology, uh, Brooklyn Tech, which was a college-oriented but a technical school. Mm -hmm. that, that you had to take a test to get into. Right. Okay. And this is before the Second World War. This is that, before World War II. That now that people would say, wow, this is a pretty progressive school district you're going to. It was. It, it was, was. I agree completely. Of course, it took care of a, a widespread of students. And even within the junior high school, we went to 7, 8, 10. Right. I mean, we had a rapid advance that I went through. I did three years and two. Wow. But then we had 7, 8, 1 going all the way to 7, 8, 10. 10, if you, you could write your name, you went into wow. 10. That's all you could do. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, I've I'm I'm sort of my 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 take on public education now, and as an educator, and what I, so I I I teach I teach English, 
And for me, it's a marketable skill, and I'm teaching a skill, and I teach it as if I'm teaching a skill. And I say, this is, these are the situations where you're going to need to use this language, this is what, this is what you're using for, and I teach it in that way. I, I teach towards that objective. But I feel a lot of times... What, what, what age group are you playing with? I play everywhere with from... 15 to 32? 15 to 60. Yeah, that's true. Retraining. Brazilians coming to learn English. A lot of engineers, a lot of, a lot of older students. Yes, a lot of older students. I work with all the way from students who are preparing to go to universities and who need uh, academic English and academic prep to um, students who are uh, coming from corporations and are needing to transition into English uh, English language offices. Like German company has bought out a Brazilian company now everybody's using English right or yeah. or Hitachi wants to market into an American market and they have an individual who they've targeted to work within this American market because of these certain skill factors however one of the lacking skill factors is English so it's my job to bring him up to him or her up to a satisfactory level in English it's where they can teach yes it's but, very functional it's not a lot of textbook. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's very functional. It's like English as a second language. Right. Yeah. But I'm really big on education as in teaching. I think knowledge is important, and I, I, and, and I, 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 I love the intellectual high you gain from education. I think it's the best high out there, uh, even better than any sort of adrenaline high from at least me. But I'm, I'm really worried that we're not preparing our students with skills that can put them in jobs to actually but then there's another there's another side to this thing where I'm kind of worried about that the jobs aren't there either but we're not preparing our students with the skills to do jobs I, if my for, to be honest with you I look at a lot of these uh, workforce one or vocational jobs and I'm 